All right, y'all, so we're back with another video. In this one, I wanted to talk a little bit about Vivi. Now, the reason that this has been on my mind and I've been thinking about it more is because I've been doing more research. I've been digging more into the finance sector and really understanding a lot more things and just learning, educating myself and things like that. Um, and I heard an interesting quote from um, Warren Buffett that made me think about Vivi. What he said is that in recent years, the biggest money that's been made hasn't been from performance, it's been from promotion. Now, this means that it's basically hype trains. Hype is driving everything in this day and age. We're living in an internet age where information gets around so fast. Information gets around and I think that it's easier to get wrong information, to get information, wrong or right. It's easier to get information, but not a lot of people have a vetting process to understand if the information they get is valuable. So what the majority of investors is going to do and people who put that on their profile is they're going to listen to someone else. That's what investors do. And then if they get a few returns just by listening to other people and they believe that they're investors, now that that solidifies in their mind that they're they're good at what they do, even if they didn't actually put in any work and effort themselves, even if they didn't have to grow, they didn't have to learn or understand anything, you made money. So, I mean, you can say that you're 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 an investor, you're a successful investor depending on how much you lucked up and got. So, yeah, it it's it's interesting to hear that from him because it did make me think about Vivi. And that made me think about some of the crypto, some of the things that I'm invested in, and some of the things that I believe should be blowing up and have not, and then looking at what has blown up and things like that. And for me, I believe that Vivi is kind of the best of both worlds because Vivi has performance and it has promotion. Now, obviously, I was one of the biggest drivers of VV's promotion. Like, I, I know a lot of people don't actually understand how it works, my impact, VV Vault, and uh, other influencers and stuff like that. I know a lot of people don't understand how it works. It's not your job to. Your job is to put money in and just hope for the best from VV. But the fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter what VV does. A lot of companies do great things, but no one is there to talk about it. I have millions of views because when VV did great things, I spoke about it. I hyped it, I was excited, and my energy poured out into the community, which led to a lot of results. That's that's what happens. Now you look at these same amazing projects where these companies are doing things and having the performance, but they're not promotable. No one's talking about it, no one cares. So it doesn't get the same results, the same recognition as Vivi is getting. Now, what I understand about Vivi and why I do believe that it's going to be successful still even though I think it's a, it's, I, I believe that Vivi is probably going to be a disappointment. Ecomi is probably going to be a disappoint, disappointment in terms of what we've been promised. But I believe it's going to be extremely successful still. Now, the, the reason for this is that it's an extremely promotable company. Regardless of what you want to say about Vivi, how they failed us, how they're not Web3, all of this stuff, regardless of anything that you want to say, they are locked in very close with Disney and Marvel. They 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 get look, look at the first thing you see you go to Vivi's profile is Marvel and it's legitimate. You go to Vivi, the top thing on here right now posted 2 hours ago Marvel. So you look at Marvel. Spider-Man. Marvel. Marvel. What what is the best movies and stuff that you're seeing now here? What you have to understand is that VV is just extremely promotable. So it may not be VV's time right now. And the thing that that mainly has made me kind of back off investing heavily into VV is that I don't know exactly what on VV is going to be valuable. I don't know what VV is going to become. I don't know why something on VV would be valuable. Now you can speculate first appearances and all this stuff, but are people going to care about the name brand Vivi, or are they, are they gonna care about the items of value on Vivi? Are they gonna care about some crazy utility that comes to an item on Vivi from a metaverse like Fortnite? 
it's so many unanswered unanswered questions for me right now where it doesn't make a lot of sense for me personally not being a collector to dive into vv and just be putting money everywhere because i don't understand what's going to drive the value and the profits of the money that i put in there so how do i get a return out i know the opportunity is there I'm not disputing the opportunity being on VV, but to know where, if anyone tells you they know for certain exactly where the opportunity on VV is at, they're lying. VV themselves don't even know where that opportunity is gonna be at. But what I do believe about them is that we can even, worst case scenario, they're weasels. And what I mean by this is they weasel into the right deals. They weasel into the right partnerships. They weasel into the hearts of people. They, they get in there. They're, look at look at them and Marvel locked in the way that they are right now. Look, look look at how they're locked in with Marvel. So them securing these deals, them secure they get in there. So do I believe that they're capable of pulling off a great metaverse, an amazing metaverse? Huh. But do I think that they can eventually get the right people? Yeah. Do I think that it eventually is going to be interesting? Their VVverse? Yeah. Do I think they can weasel into getting into a metaverse like what Fortnite and, and Disney's working on? Yes, I absolutely believe that. They've shown that they're very good at licensing and deals. Even if they're not competent developers themselves, they are good at making deals. So if they can bring a asset worth holding and make it prominent in something like Fortnite's metaverse, that's all that's really needed. They have a free marketing machine behind them and they're very marketable because their products aren't completely horrible or anything like that. The products look good. And then you look at the comic books, it's really the only place where you can find the these officially licensed comic books in this type of format. It's the only place where they have the, the, the NFTs where there's ownership and things like that. Now, do I believe ownership is gonna be a big of a deal as it's been? I don't think so. I think a lot of these buzzwords and keywords to collectors maybe, to be able to say, I own this, it's a flex, it's a big deal. I think that's going to be big for a small niche community. The majority of the world who dives into this space, which is inevitable, everyone is going to dive into the NFT space, into the Web3 space. The world is going to transition here. There's no debating this. The biggest debate is what are people gonna value? And I think it's the same things they've been valuing. What brings value to me? What is fun? What makes me wanna spend my time there? What has the best community? What has the best conversations? What have, has the energy that I wanna surround myself with? I think that that's what it's going to come down to. And while VV may, have, may not have delivered the things that they have said they were going to deliver, VV has constantly delivered. They've constantly been building, they've constantly been getting results. The problem with VV is that they promised up here they're delivering right here. And this right here is still miles away from so many other companies in the Web3 space. So that's what I, I attribute the, the current sentiment and the doubt in Vivi to their incompetence. They, they've misspoke and promised so much huge things. And I've never heard them come out and just say, Yo, we misspoke about a lot. A lot of this stuff is way harder than we thought. We didn't know what we were talking about. But now that we're more educated, it's gonna be different and take a little bit more time than we thought. Because in their position, they look like these godlike salesmen who can sell you the greatest dream you've ever heard of. But they come across as scammers because they don't communicate their miscommunications and they're underestimating a space or they're uh, they're overestimating their own capabilities. It's like, they're not transparent and honest. It seemed like they were transparent and honest when they came out promising these things. It seems like it was genuinely from the heart. And if that's true, then the only thing, the only reason that it, it would not have been here by now is because they're incompetent and can't do what they thought they could do, but they can't actually communicate these things in the right way. And if they don't know what they're doing, I feel like it builds more trust letting people know that you don't know what you're doing and you have to figure it out because these guys are business owners. They've worked, like when you're building a business, you don't always know what you're doing. You're learning as you build the business. You make a mistake, 
you fix the mistake. So now if that mistake comes in the future, you know how to handle it because you fixed that mistake before. That is how business works. But instead of them having a clear, great communicator who can communicate these things simply in a way where you're, it comes across very honest and you, we can be understanding about it, they sit here and stay quiet, think that's the move. They say things and then what they say ends up being dumb and not making sense and they think that that's the move. The route that they take to do the things that they're doing has been counterproductive for the company. But if you really sit back from an unbiased point, point state, state of mind, you realize they've been delivering things. They've been delivering things. Nowhere near what they promised, but they have been constantly delivering. They have been securing some amazing deals. So even if they fall short on some of their goals and, and things that they want to accomplish, because of their ability to partner, they can partner themselves into the right place. Disney would not be aligning itself so tightly with a loser. Like, look at Vivi. You think Vivi is going to go belly up? L look at look across their social media. Marvel, Marvel, um, Spider Man. Like, you look across their social media and see what the heck is constantly being posted. Th this brand would look like a clown itself. Um, if Vivi was to fall, go belly up, or or something was to happen to Vivi. At this point. At this point, before VV, they allow something to happen to VV, I believe that that Disney would just buy it up. If VV just purely became incompetent, I believe that Disney would have no choice but to buy it up because Disney would look like clowns with a company this ingrained with Marvel and Disney to to just be out here going belly up and looking looking sad, going out sad. So I'm at the point right now where. It's not that I don't believe in Vivi being successful. I believe that it's going to be successful. I believe that it has the capabilities to have hype, but I just don't know what that thing is that we're gonna be hyped about, that, that's going to get promoted, that's going to have the value. Because there's so many items on Vivi now where if you are an investor, if you're a collector, you're probably having a time of your life. But if you are an investor and looking for the opportunity in this, it's so hard to see that now. It's very much harder to see that now. Could it be a partner statue? Absolutely, it could be a partner statue. But is there plans for utility? What type of utility? Why is it going to be the partner statue? Just because it's a partner statue don't mean that it's gonna be valuable. And I think that that's the thing. Earlier on in the NFT space, when you're comparing VV to some bored apes and all these other monkeys and stuff like that, okay, VV was clearly a winner. Everything on VV compared to that stuff looked amazing. Now other IP is coming out. Now we have interesting things happening. We have the whole creator of Fortnite is creating a universe now where you know the gaming aspect is gonna be way better than anything VV can ever produce. It's like, there is no area in this where VV looks like it's going to be the strongest anymore outside of them having this, this type of IP. So what is going to be the opportunity here? What, what is going to be the opportunity with VV? That, that's the question that I believe needs to be answered at this point in time. But is there value here? Is VV still going to be an amazing investment? I believe so. But it's just, it's a lot more variables than there was before. It's a lot more variables than there was before. Everything, at one point in time, it was so little on VV that everything could get crazy valuations. Now there's so much stuff on VV. And there's so much stuff in the NFT space and people are a lot more educated because of the other companies that's failed and things like that. It's going to be, what value are you bringing to my life? Only a collector cares about them being able to store stuff digitally. Only a collector would care about that. And I don't, if they're gonna target the masses, we need to know what is going to be that, what is VV's plan to bring some value to the masses? Because being able to collect something and have it in a storeroom with an AR feature, I don't care. I'm not that type of collect. I don't care. It brings me nothing. That brings me no value. Like, if I can hold something and get money from it, that would then I care. But as a regular consumer who VV, like, VV cannot target only collectors. Otherwise, it's not going to get anywhere near what they promised. So, VV has to deliver more. And I don't even know what that more could be right now. Um, and that's why I'm not head over heels going super crazy and diving in super hard to VV because yeah, we just don't know yet. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Let me know if you if you understand where I'm coming from and how you feel about it. What do you think is valuable on VV? 
what do you think the future could be where this is concerned? But that's pretty much it, y'all. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out.